Hey Spielberg, I uh, I like you, even though you know I've heard the rumors and stuff. I mean, you know, you're a gazillionaire and you live in life in the. You're an extra. Ter you know, you probably do a little blow and stuff, and and you party, right? Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean. When you're an extraterrestrial art designer, you know, a little bit of uh, extracurricular motivation <laughs> brings out the juices, right? <laughs> but uh, what I was going to try to do with this video here, um, uh, there, Spielberg, is uh and well you're already unofficially because we're partners we've been partners since you wrote pinky in the brain i mean everybody knows we're both hacked by something similar so that extraterrestrial art designer thingy that we got going on <clears throat> and uh big fat hook too right let the wicked be silent in their graves there uh spielberg <coughs> I believe, and I, I truly believe, I don't think you're evil. I think you're a really big asshole like I would be if I was a millionaire. You're probably a major, and I'm a kind of an asshole even though that I'm not a millionaire, so I'm not judging you. I'm just, I'm just thinking, if I was a millionaire, gazillionaire, who made really good movies and I was famous, and I needed my extraterrestrial art designer mind to stay fluctuated, what would I do? Well, I'd probably have of age women, very young, even though I'm old, but of age women come over and snort blow with me and get my juices flowing. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? There, it's, it's, it's legal, right? I mean, it, basically it's illegal, but it's legal. I mean, it's legal, it's, it's, it's legally illegal, right? I mean, as long as you don't get caught with the blow. I mean, everybody does blow, right? I mean, yeah, anybody that owns their own business or is it a lawyer or a fucking doctor or just about everybody other than the government officials who have to take uh, drug screenings and things like that do blow. All of them do. They all do blow. I mean, everybody does. That's like, <laughs> watch Pulp Fiction. It, that was like a reverse opposite there. It was, well, it's, it, it was the simple, you wrote it, right? You had a whole lot to do with writing it because you're in that clique of writing shit. And, and uh, who's the guy, who's that guy? I like that guy too, the, the Pulp Fiction guy. Uh, the one that came up with the movie there. Can't think of his name right now. I'm looking at a treble hook right now. <laughs> Uh, Stephen. But uh, what I was trying to do here, Stephen, is I'm putting together, uh, if you've noticed, the uh, Apprentice. Uh, well, well, the Majestic 12, you know, the Majestic 12 isn't necessarily, like, going to be entirely holy people, okay? Because I'm not an a entirely holy person, right? I'm just a straight shooter, and I'm flesh, and I'm man, and I... And, you know, I've, I've, I've never wanted to do ill on other people. Uh, and, 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 and I expected if I was doing ill to myself for them to not worry about me, right? Because it's myself. It's independence and free will. They're helicopter mama and people to death. And it drives me nuts, personally. I mean, why are they in our business this much, Stephen? So... Obviously, you've got this uh, Epstein pedophile cult and everything. Everybody was set up, right? Everybody's set up. I mean, the whole the whole thing's a setup. They got Gislaine Max Gislaine. <laughs> Gis, uh, come on, Spielberg. <laughs> we both know what Gislaine means, right? <laughs> ah. Skeet, jizz lane. <laughs> Come on, man. We party. We we're we're speaking the same fucking lingo here, brother. So here is where I'm gonna go down the road in a second and tell you what you need to be in order to be Majestic Twelve. Because if you're not that, then you're 
you're probably going to die with the rest of these motherfuckers, okay? But I think you're going to be okay because let the wicked be silent in their graves, right? So you, you, you're probably going to live uh, because, A, you've already told the world everything they needed to hear their partner, uh, Stephen, the asshole that you are who likes to do a little cocaine, and who gives a shit? Right? I mean, who gives a fuck? You like 18-year-old girls come over? It's legal. You want to do a little cocaine? I mean, who cares? If And I, I'm almost convinced, Stephen, that that's all you have to worry about, okay? Uh, and even the gray areas. Don't worry about that, okay? You got all the dirt, brother. You got all the dirt. You know what you need to do, Stephen, is move to Texas, okay? I'm trying to get you in the majestic 12 here but what i want to do before i bring you into the majestic 12 is to make sure you're not a pedophile right and we gotta we gotta be for 100 percent sure that you're not a pedophile all the way down to i just turned 18 years old and i'm gonna snort a line of cocaine with you let's party tonight hollywood style primo i don't care that's fine but anything before all of that, or you've got like these fantasies about molesting children or sodomizing little boys or anything else like all these other people who are being arrested all over the country have, uh, who are politicians and congressmen and senators, and they're scum of the earth, pieces of shit filth, who are all about to die in lethal injection chambers, die, that's where they need to go, okay? All of them, the whole cult, Stephen. Yeah, if you're not uh, anything less than the snorting blow with the 18-year-olds in Hollywood-style fashion, let's get her done Jew style, which I'm down with the Jew pump there, okay? I'm all about it. Yeah, then come to the Majestic 12 down here in Texas. You ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs>